a tangled night. Heading now towards the three, uh, the three railway fences and the Drunken Duck setting the way to Deep Memories in second. The Drunken Duck from Deep Memories in command, Mr. Nobody, good prospect. Then Beacon Time upon the outside with Brown Jock and with Brown Jock is a colonial lad. The Drunken Duck over that in the lead and good prospect rather reach for that one but he got away with it. Going to the last on the far side, the Drunken Duck in the lead. The Drunken Duck the leader, a better jump there by good prospect. He's in about sixth place but it's the Drunken Duck in the lead from Inkerman in second with deep memories in third. Turning out of the back straight for the first time, it's the Drunken Duck setting the pace to Inkerman in second, then Deep Memories is third, Mr. Nobody is fourth, then behind Mr. Nobody on the outside is Beacon Time. These are tracked by Good Prospect, and on the inner of Good Prospect is Brown Jock towards the outer making ground, Collars and Cuffs. Heading uphill now to the pond fence for the first time. This is coming towards the ninth, and it's the Drunken Duck in the lead. The Drunken Duck, the leader, with the rest of them very closely grouped indeed in behind. The Drunken Duck over in the lead. Good Prospect jumped that one big and bold. Collars and Cuffs made a slight mistake up on the outside. And in fact, uh, Collars and Cuffs has gone. Collars and Cuffs unseated his rider at that one as they level up to the next plane fence. And it's the Drunken Duck in the lead. The Drunken Duck from the rest of them virtually spread eagle across the field. And the Prince of Wales on Good Prospect tracking the one in the white face. That's in command. Coming up now towards the open ditch. This is fence number 11. And it's the Drunken Duck in the lead. The Drunken Duck from Inkerman and Colonial Laird. Good Prospect, in fact, now has only four behind him and is at the rear of the main group. But as they come up past the stands, it's the Drunken Duck in the lead from Brown Jock in second place. Inkerman is third. Deep Memories is fourth. Beacon Time fifth. Behind Beacon Time is Colonial Laird. Behind Colonial Laird is Mr. Nobody. And then comes Good prospect from the prince who just being niggled along to keep his pitch at this stage bruff yes he's gonna have to do some niggling but they've gone very fast to me i don't mind where good prospect is at all at this stage a whole circuit more of sand down on very soft ground the situation just is i think a lot of these up front are really going to finish completely clobber they're not going to get home at all it just will be a situation though when you straighten up down the back straight when a good prospect is going to have to be asked the question that's going to be pretty hard work for the man on top drunken duck going the best of all at the moment in front but good prospect are not done with yet i'll tell you what this is going to take a lot of getting this three miles today the drunken duck in the lead as they race down the hill to the 12th, the drunken duck in the lead comes to it, jumps it big and bold. Brown Jock second, Deep Memories third, and then behind Deep Memories in command and Beacon Time, Colonial Lad and Good Prospect, and behind Good Prospect comes uh, Devon Minion. They turn into the back straight. They've now got ten more fences to jump, and the drunken duck who has made all the running still in the lead from Brown Jock in second, Deep Memories third, then Colonial Lad, Beacon Time and Inkerman, and then a gap of some four to five lengths to Good Prospect, and behind Good Prospect, a length then to Devon Minion. But the Prince of Wales not amongst the leaders at this stage as they head to the next, and the drunken duck leads, and there was a faller there. The faller was, was Inkerman, the faller Inkerman, it's the Drunken Duck in the lead from Deep Memories in second. Then Colonial Lad, in fact, goes into second. Deep Memories is third. It's the Drunken Duck in the lead. The Drunken Duck, the leader, from Colonial Lad second. Deep Memories is third. Beacon Time four. Brown Jock is five. Then Good Prospect back in sixth place. The Drunken Duck to the water jump for the final time still leads. The Drunken Duck in the leader. And Good Prospect pecked at that one and made a slight mistake. Horse and Jockey still on their feet, though. Still the Drunken Duck, the leader, from Colonial Lad second. Then in third is Deep Memories. Fourth is Brown Jock. Then in fifth place comes Beacon Time. Then comes Good Prospect getting back into the uh, reckoning now. He's in sixth place, but he's not all that far behind them. Going to the next, it's the Drunken Duck from Colonial Lad. Little to choose between them. And there you can see, in fact, uh, the, he's off. Fortunately, the horse is on his feet and Prince Charles is still on the ground at the moment, but he seems to be okay. In fact, he's getting to his feet, but that's the end of the royal ride as the leaders come out, out of the home straight and it's now Colonial Lad that takes it up. And there you can see absolutely no harm to the Prince of Wales. And that's, in fact, the other horse in the picture is Devon Mignon, the Prince walking away, I'm sure, rather disgruntled at, uh, unfortunately, having been and see it off good prospect you can see there he's absolutely walking no harm whatsoever and as they the rest of the runners now coming down to the third from home 
and it's Colonial led the leader from the Drunken Duck with Brown Jock back in third place. Coming down to the third from home, Colonial led in the lead. Colonial led the leader from the Drunken Duck who jumped it very slowly in second place. A long gap then to Brown Jock in third, but the leader, Colonial lad, being hampered by the loose horse, and this has given fresh life to the Drunken Duck who's coming again on the inside, coming down to the final fence, and a loose horse has carried Colonial lad out, and this has virtually presented the race to the Drunken Duck. The loose horse took out Colonial Lad. This has left the Drunken Duck in the lead. The Drunken Duck is now going to be hampered by the loose horse. He's running about all over the place as they come down to the final fence. But at the final fence, the Drunken Duck comes to it. He jumps it safely. The loose horse is in second place. Then Brown Jock is in third. And as they race up towards the line, it's the Drunken Duck in the lead. The Drunken Duck in the lead and clear from the, the loose horses, Collins and Kurtz. But coming up to the line, it's the Drunken Duck who's going to win it. At the post, the Drunken Duck is the winner it's going to be a close run thing for the minor honors but in fact there's going to be brown jock who comes out to it in second place brown jock is second and the third horse yet to finish the third horse yet to finish and that will be deep memories the winner of this race the drunken duck but there you can see prince charles remounted on his man good prospect the other horse with him devon uh, mignon but uh, there you can see absolutely no harm to either the horse good prospect or the royal rider and he is just in fact trotting back down the far side and there you can see giving his uh, mount a pat on the neck that's good prospect whose attempt at winning this the horse and hound grand military gold cup ended when he and his rider parted company that rather ignominious view now we can have with rough scott well it is a bit of a it's a bit of a tragedy because the the prince had ridden absolutely the right race he'd uh, they'd gone away down the back but they did finish very tight he's just getting back into the picture and what always might have happened the horse not very big in front the prince not yet terribly used to him he he hits it a bit clouts drops his shoulder and if you're not used to a horse very much with a rather smaller neck in front it's very easy i can tell you to go over the side and i'm speaking as someone has been over the side an awful lot more times than the, I hope the Prince ever will. But uh, I'm pleased to say he's all right. Don't forget that the Prince has only been able to school this horse once since he was bought because his own horse, Alibar, uh, died tragically three weeks ago. And uh, he, being the man he is, Prince Charles, he was determined to take part nonetheless and uh, therefore took a calculated risk with this. And uh, have Philip Blacker here beside me who's ridden this horse good prospect and in fact uh, who's also fallen off him because there isn't an awful lot in front of you until you get used to a horse they're a lot more difficult to sit on and you're just when you start to motor you're having to commit yourself if a horse goes and clouts one a bit hard the thing you do if you committed yourself is to go over the side and that's what's what's happened this afternoon but we, let's have a look now at the uh, tragedy that happened now to Colonial Lad and uh, the Marquis de Quila, John to his friends, but uh, it's no friend of his, the loose horse. If we go and look at this incident, because Colonial Lad going nearly as, a, nearly as well as, as, a, as the winner Drunken Duck, but he tries to get away from the loose horse, and the loose horse comes across and takes him. The only good thing is the loose horse misses the wing, and therefore he also misses the wing, but takes him out, and so what looked to be a really tight race becomes just a procession, and the question really is whether the loose horse will then go and flatten uh, Brod Munro Wilson on the drunken duck, but even though it made a pretty good attempt, it didn't manage it. And here's Prince Charles. Uh, just some uh, royal watchers are claiming there's a touch of royal blood coming out, but it won't be the first time there. He is waving to everybody, and uh, I don't think that'll stop him by any, uh, by any manner of means. And I think everyone should come to, to the terms with the fact if you're going to ride in steeplechases, of course you're going to have falls. Prince Charles has said that to me to me himself this morning. I think everyone should come to terms with that. And the falls you have in the steeplechase riding, uh, so they can be bad, but uh, a lot of the time they're not. And uh, you're not really likely to get any more hurt than if you played rugby or something. And I think to have a sporting prince is a, a tremendous asset to this country. Meanwhile, here comes the drunken duck, walking down into the winner's enclosure. Very sober, though I doubt if Rod Monroe Wilson will be tonight, because this is the second year he's won the Grand Military and uh, under slightly uh, easy circumstances this year as uh, Loose Horse demolished, uh, Loose Horse demolished uh, his main opposition, the Colonial Lad. But uh, I must say that uh, Good Prospect really was coming into the race with a chance. And I, in fact, have Philip Blackham beside me, 
Uh, I don't know if Philip's actually fed it up. Philip, what did you think? You were, you were a good prospect. Did you think he was actually getting back that with the chance? Yes, yes. Well, great shame because he was giving him a very, very good ride because they had gone a great gallop and um, because of that they were beginning to come back to him and he was just getting back into the race. It was a, it, it was a shame because I think that having turned into the straight he'd have run and they finished tired and uh, I think he could have very nearly won it but it, it's just one of those things that happen. He just put down and got a little bit low, and uh, it's very easy to happen. And Philip, there, you're, of course, quite a big, tall jockey yourself. The Prince, I think, is as tall, if not taller than you. There isn't an awful lot of good prospect, even though he's such a good jumper, to sit on, is there? No, to sit on, the, the, one always feels one, has, one hasn't got very much in front of one. Um, but uh, he does jump very well. But, you know, any horse, the best of them, will always make the odd mistake, and uh, he did today. And I imagine that um, he might be a horse, too, who needs just a little bit of knowing. Oh, he does, yes, no doubt about it. He's, he's not the absolute simplest ride in the world, but he is a great jumper once you do get to know him. And so, I mean, from your own point of view, you'd expect, you'd expect Prince Charles to, to go on and, uh, and be perfectly successful on Good Prospect. Oh, undoubtedly, As yes, indeed would, you have been in the past. I would have thought so, yes. Well, Philip, uh, I know you're a sculptor in your, your other, uh, other life. Do you still hope to, have to do a sculpture of the Good Prospect? Well, indeed, I, I, I'd be very honoured to if I was asked to, but uh, I haven't done it as yet. Well, Philip, thank you very much. And now we can have the SP of the Drunken Ducks victory. First number 22, the Drunken Duck at 4 to 1. Second number 5, Brown Jock, 11 to 2. And third number 16, Deep Memories, 50 to 1. Collars and Cast was the 7 to 2 favourite and 12 ran. So the victory we all hoped for did not happen, but I think that perhaps in the long run may prove to be a reasonable thing. It just shows everybody that uh, racing isn't that easy and Prince Charles was saying that himself this morning it's not that easy and to expect on your third ride in public and your second ride ever on one horse to win um, is perhaps expecting the impossible and uh, the man may have achieved many impossible things but this wasn't one of them but uh, I think there's plenty of races in that partnership myself uh, and uh, I see I hope I very much hope so for the gains process we'll be back of course tomorrow at uh, Sandown I'll be here at Sandown for the Imperial Cup the main race and uh, and Derek Tolson are going up to wear. Confirmation from Charlie Forkus here that uh, Prince Charles is absolutely fine. Just one thing I really ought to close on, I suppose. I haven't told you uh, what the date is. I never mentioned it. It's Friday the 13th. One other thing on a personal note, it's 10 years to the day that I was carried off for the last time. I hope we'll have 10 more years more of Prince Charles. Nice to be with you. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. And that visit to Sandown Park replaced the published film. There'll be more racing from Sandown in World of Sport tomorrow. In a moment, a super...